Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and I'm experimenting with <laughs> with this new form of filming. I noticed a few YouTubers um, who were doing this. There is this one Polish YouTuber that if you're Polish and or if you know Polish, um, she's filming her videos like that and I find it super fun. Um, she's called Lisie Piekło or Paulina Lis. I think it's Lisha Pequo. Um, but she inspired me <laughs> to do it in this way. So that's very, very new to me. I hope you will enjoy this video. Also, another thing that I really want to address is my tan. Okay, it's summer. <laughs> and that is okay. Like, that's fine. I'm also in my sweats. So, mmm. <laughs> Let's just roll with it. This video is something that I wanted to film for as long as I can remember, and that is what I do on a day when I want to feel cozy, I want to take care of myself, but I don't know what to do, I don't know where to begin, and I know that there are a few things that I could be doing or should be doing, but I told myself that I would have the weekend to myself. I wanted to show you what I do on these low maintenance self-care days when I want to feel cozy. <laughs> That's the only title that I could come up with when it comes to this video. Also, before we begin, I really wanted to film it like a vlog, but because there are so many things that I wanted to talk about, I didn't want to make it into an unrealistic video, but sometimes I do these styles of videos on my Instagram stories. I show you how I take care of myself when I'm resting. So if you don't follow me there, make sure to do so because I post there every single day. <laughs> I mean the stories, right? But sometimes I write some inspirational posts as well and I share some cool photos. So yeah, Instagram is where you will find more of my daily life. Um, but this video is kind of like a collection of everything that I do when it comes to practicing self-love, self-care, and the first thing is healthy, delicious, nutritious, breakfast. Usually for me it's an oatmeal, a variation of an oatmeal, because I'm an oatmeal person. So if I were feeling fancy, I would probably make myself pancakes, but I don't feel like making pancakes in the morning. <laughs> so what I would do is I would make myself a regular oatmeal, but I would just make it a bit special, you know? So maybe using fresh strawberries instead of I don't know, apples, or maybe just putting a little bit of chocolate in. And of course it's vegan, so anything that is a vegan treat that would be still healthy, but delicious and just, ah, oh, my mouth is watering right now because I'm thinking of my oatmeal <laughs> that I had this morning. <laughs> but that would be the first thing that I do in the morning, making myself some incredible breakfast. And that's usually oatmeal because it's quick, it's easy, and I love it and I could eat it every single day and just change my toppings and I would be the happiest person on earth. <laughs> So the next thing that I do is I do my morning pages. If you don't know what morning pages are, these, I talked about them in so many of my journaling videos, so I'll leave a link to my lifestyle design playlist so you can watch some of the videos where I talk about morning pages. And I know that writing in the morning would not necessarily be something that everybody does on their cozy day, but this is something that I do every single day. My oatmeal and my morning pages are the things that I do every single day, and I love them because they help me take care of me, and for me, they are low effort and low maintenance. So this is the second thing that I do. And then it's like anything goes. I just listen to my body, listen to my intuition, and whatever I feel like doing, this is what I do. So let's get started with breath work and meditation. I personally cannot recommend breath work and meditation enough. I don't really know if I already made this video or if I am going to upload it after this video, but I'm going to be filming a seven day breath work and meditation experiment, journey, challenge. So I'll link it in the description box, but I personally love my breathwork practices and I love meditating. So if I really want to feel like I'm taking care of myself, it's already a habit of mine, like similarly to writing my morning pages in the morning, that I can't really imagine my days 
without <laughs> breathwork and meditation anymore. Like I know that breathwork followed by meditation will always help me and will always make me feel better. Or if not, at least I will feel like I took care of myself, of my mental state, of my emotional state, and also I took care of my nervous system. See how many benefits there are? So many. Okay, something that really helps me feel cozy is, and this is gonna be so silly, um, but depending on my mood, depending on the weather, and depending on what I feel like wearing, I can change my outfit a few times during the day. So on these cozy self-care days, I don't really do my makeup, but I really love my loungewear. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> I live in my sweatpants and I live in my cozy clothes and I sometimes feel like wearing them all at once <laughs> and some make me feel cozy, some make me feel sexy, some make me feel like I just want to cuddle myself. This is something that I do and it helps me so much. <laughs> Also, I really like taking care of my body, so usually what I will do is doing some yoga. And I don't know if you know yoga with Adrian. probably many of you already know her. So one of the top practices that really make me feel good is the yoga for tired legs video. I work sitting down as a language mentor. Um, now online, I sit in front of my computer for many hours. My hips and my legs tend to get really achy and tired. So the yoga for tired legs video is the one that I would probably reach for on a day when I want to move my body, but I really want to feel better, like actually feel like there is, like the tension has left my body and this video helps every single time. Next, I probably would cook a meal for myself. Now I really want to make it low maintenance and low effort, so I would probably cook a meal that I really love, that I could eat forever, like an oatmeal. <laughs> so one of these meals is the curry that I got from Karolina Sobańska, another Polish YouTuber um, slash podcaster, and I make this curry anytime I just want to feel like my body is nourished because it has everything that I love in it and I know that it's probably not a traditional curry recipe it's just called curry but yeah I would make myself some curry or another one of my favorite recipes and I used to make videos where I showed you what I cook I don't do it anymore because these videos take so much time and I have a few that you can still watch. So maybe if you want some inspiration, you can watch some of my vegan YouTube videos. <laughs> so I would probably make myself something that I already know that I love and something that is very easy and quick to make or something that is so, so easy like this curry, like everything is just in one pot and it's oh so good. So after I've made myself some delicious lunch, Excuse me, my mouth, my mouth is still watering at the thought of my curry which is waiting for me in the fridge. I would probably take my curry or anything <laughs> that I already made for myself and I would curl up on the sofa and watch a show on Netflix or watch a movie. Now this all depends on my mood because I really appreciate aesthetically beautiful things and sometimes my soul craves these stories that just fill you with the emotions that you never even knew existed and this is what I would do on my cozy self-care day. I would find something that would be this for me, <laughs> that would give me all of these feelings. And one of the things that I'm watching right now that is perfect for any cozy self-care day is Normal People. It is insane. Like, I love it so much. So Normal People, highly recommend it. Also Dawson's Creek. Like, if you're looking for a teen high school family drama that is so 90s, Dawson's Creek. Like, I have no idea how on earth I survived 26 years on this planet and I only heard about Dawson's Creek this year. My mind is blown. Um, so yeah, I would probably watch Dawson's Creek, Normal People, 
afterlife, it's been helping me so much. Or if I'm watching a film, it's probably something that makes me feel like the perks of being a wallflower makes me feel. And I also made a video on the films that have changed my life and the perks of being a wallflower is one of them. Sometimes I would read a book if I really wanted to, maybe a physical book. I don't really buy physical books anymore, but if I do, it's probably a self-help book or a book that I could reread many times, so probably a non-fiction book. Or if I'm reaching for fiction, it's probably something that I'm reading on my Kindle. So right now, in the comments down below, you can let me know what your cozy show is, what your cozy film is, your cozy book. Like, let me know in the comments because I'm always on the lookout for something that will be similar to what I already like. And I will also be making a video on my favorite books of all time, so if you have something that you think I will enjoy, um, let me know in the comments and let me know what your cozy shows and films and books are because I'm dying to know. And also your cozy playlists or your cozy music choices because sometimes another thing that I would do on a self-care day like this would be writing a gratitude list. You know, I'm a gratitude junkie and I would write my list down while listening to a very cozy playlist or a cozy album and my go-to at the moment is Folklore by Taylor Swift. But my all-time favorite that always makes me feel cozy no matter what is The Submarine Soundtrack by Alex Turner. I discovered it in 2012. It's 2021 and I listen to it every time I want to feel cozy and I can't get enough of it. It's only six songs long or five and a half, but it's just, oh, I love it. And to be honest, the Submarine soundtrack works perfectly in the fall when it's raining. And if it's not raining, I'll be playing the playlist <laughs> called Arctic Monkeys by the Rain. <laughs> and it's just perfect if it's too hot or if it's just, you know, a miserable day, but I really want to feel like it's raining because when it's raining I feel extra cozy. Like, can you see a pattern here? <laughs> so this is what I would usually do. Um, I would also make myself some delicious coffee because I really like coffee. Um, it's low maintenance, it's low effort, but drinking coffee really makes me feel cozy and taken care of. And I would be writing my gratitude list down, the things that I'm grateful for, and just, you know, contemplating my life. Another thing that I sometimes do, especially when I feel really down, is dance parties. <laughs> so I would just play a song and I would dance to it. Now disclaimer, it doesn't have to be some choreography. I used to be a dancer, but I just like moving my body to the music. So. When I'm saying dancing, like dance parties, it doesn't have to be like actually like dancing like in a nightclub, but you know what I mean? Like just swaying and feeling the music flowing through you that music makes you feel. This is something that I would do as a form of self-care because I really love dancing. Sometimes I would sing as well, depending on my mood. That's me! <laughs> also, I've been posting a lot of clips of me dancing on my Insta stories and I was terrified at first when I was doing it, but uh, like, I think it's fun. <laughs> so if you want to see me dance, um, maybe today's your lucky day and you'll see me dancing because I don't do it every single day, but sometimes I post myself dancing on my Insta stories. So yeah. Okay, before I go to the last thing, which is a bit, you know, quirky <laughs> is that if I have a bathtub, like if I'm in an Airbnb or in an apartment that has a bathtub, I would take a bath. And if I'm feeling extra, I would take a bath at noon because there's nothing more luxurious than just taking a bath halfway through your day. Like not at the very end to relax and to unwind. Try it. Like take a bath at 1 p.m and see how it makes you feel. <laughs> um, and the last thing is I love doing laundry and doing laundry makes me happy. So on my cozy self-care day, I do my laundry. Like I do laundry on other days as well, but whenever I feel like, ooh, today's my cozy self-care day, I want to do something that will make me feel super, super cozy, I will do my laundry. I have so many 
reasons why doing laundry makes me happy, but this is something that I would do, that would make me super, super, super happy. And this is something that is accessible to me whenever I want to, and it's low effort <laughs> for me. <laughs> so yeah, that's something that I would do. And that concludes my list. So I'm waiting to hear from you in the comments. Tell me what makes you feel cozy and taken care of that is also low maintenance and low effort. And I'll be there in the comments responding to you guys as always. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know if this style of video resonated with you, if you'd like me to create more videos like these. I personally love this format, not only this, but like talking about self-care and lifestyle design. Subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram if you are not already, um, and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much, bye bye. Also something that would make me feel super super cozy is cuddling my cat because he's the love of my life and he's my best friend and I just love him so so much. So if he's around somewhere, I'll just come up to him and say, hi, how are you? I love you so so much. The reason why he's not in this video is because I'm in this Airbnb by myself, um, but he is well and i'm here in this airbnb just to film so i didn't bring him with me but that is something that i would do on a cozy day um no matter where i live and i will be there in the comments because there is nothing better than just feeling cozy together no mm -mm. <laughs> no that's not what i wanted to say <laughs> also sometimes i just like to lie down and do nothing just lie down and actually do nothing. That's a superb feeling. Just doing nothing. 